Hi everyone, I'm Gail. Welcome to this practice where we're gonna have fun focusing on moving balance. So what I mean by that is we're gonna be standing on two feet like we normally do, but then transferring to one foot, back to two feet and back to one foot and moving throughout various poses that are gonna challenge us to really be aware of where our bodies are in space, how our bones are stacked over each other, using our deep core muscles to hold that balance, and most of all, having a spirit of playfulness and fun so that you can really enjoy this practice and learn something about movement and how what you feel inside reflects on how you express yourself outside. So let's start by closing our eyes and just centering ourselves, focusing on your breath, moving in and out. Let your mind clear out of any clutter that has accumulated, which it always does. And just allowing yourself to be receptive and open. So now let's start in standing. So come on to standing. So we'll start in standing Tadasana. And just take a moment to ground down through your feet and find balance between the tripod of your foot, the mount of the big toe, the mount of the pinky toe, and the center of your heel. So that you don't feel like you're a little bit leaning forward or a little bit back, whoa, <laughs> or a little bit outwardly rotating or inwardly rotating. I exaggerated those, but we want to see if we can feel nice and even. And on your inhale, let your breath float you, your arms up. And on your exhale, let your arms slow down slowly. Nice inhale, reach up with your breath. And then exhale, lower down as you relax. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, release. One more of these. Inhale, reach up, focusing on the breath. Exhale, release. Let's bring our feet a little wider than our hips. We're just going to do some, some gentle swinging. So you want to have nice soft knees. We're just going to let centrifugal force float our arms around. Let your arms go higher and higher. So maybe they start out a little bit low, but kind of get high. And then just swing from side to side. Just enjoying the movement and the motion, warming up the shoulders, warming up our hips, warming up our feet. And come back to center, bring your feet hip distance apart again. And as you inhale, reach your arms up, come up onto your tiptoes. And as you exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms down. And then inhale, reach up across the wrists and exhale lower. And just go back and forth and see if you can maybe remember to bring the opposite wrists on top. I'll just do a couple more of these. And one more. Reach up. Lift up through your heels onto your toes. Reach up nice and tall. Gaze up. And slowly lower down. Release your arms down by your sides. So starting at the front of your mat, if you're not already there. On your inhale, reach your arms up. And on your exhale, forward fold. Place your hands down, step back to plank. Find that internal lift. And then we're just gonna lower one knee to the floor and then the other, and just go back and forth. You can go at your own pace. You could speed it up a little bit, or you could slow it down a little bit. Just working on our core, activating the core, noticing how your whole body is starting to turn on, especially the longer we stay here. and come back into your plank. You can keep your knees lifted or lower them down. We're gonna bend the elbows slowly lower down. Point your toes, curl up into your cobra. See if you can release your pubic bone toward the floor without crunching your back. So think of stretching your tailbone towards your heels. And exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, rise up. Open up. 
and exhale, lower down. Come onto your forearms and bend your left knee. Reach back with your left hand for your left foot and just give yourself a gentle quad stretch here. If you want, if you can get your heel fairly close to your hip, you might be able to spin your hands so your fingers are facing forward. And you could even stretch out your toes a little bit, curling them under. Release your foot and same thing, other side. Maybe spin your fingers. Maybe move your knee in a little bit closer. Maybe stretch out through the toes. And release your right foot. Bend your left knee again. And this time reach for your, for your left ankle. Reach your right arm forward and lift your arms, arms and legs up. Really reach strongly out through your fingers and your toes. And lower down, switch sides. Holding the right foot or ankle with your hand, reach your left arm forward. And kick back and see if you can fly upward. Key thing is, can you breathe? We always want to have somewhat relaxed breath. Good. Lower down. Now reach back with both hands. Kick back through your feet. And lift up. So think of lifting the chest, lifting your knees, lifting your feet. Remember to breathe. <laughs> you can hear the little strain in my voice. Good. And release. Bring your hands back by your sides. Curl up into your cobra. And slide back into child's pose. You can always keep your hips up if it's too uncomfortable to bring your hips to your heels. Breathe into your back. Feel that generous expansion. And next inhale, come all the way forward to cobra again. Bend your left knee, roll onto your right side. Place your left foot down and then lift your hips up, bending both knees, try and reach your left knee to the floor. And then when you come up, pick your right foot up, tap your toes. Lower down, reach knee to floor and reach up. Again, lower down. So both knees have to be bent and where this right foot is placed will make it easier or harder for you to tap your knee to the ground. If it doesn't tap, no big deal. We're just working in that direction. And place your foot down, roll back into your cobra. Nice mindful movement. And just kind of sway your hips from side to side. Bend your right knee, roll over onto your left side. Pick your foot up and reach your knee forward and tap. Reach your left leg up and touch. And reach and tap. Lift and touch. <laughs> reach and tap your knee down. Lift up and touch. Lower your right leg down. And come back into your cobra. <clears throat> Lower down. Press back. Downward facing dog. Just take a few breaths in your down dog. On your next inhale, sweep your right leg up, down dog splits. Exhale, pull your knee up and come forward, tap your knee to your arm. Inhale, stretch back. We'll do that two more times. Exhale, hug in. Try and keep your knee nice and high, your foot high. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, hug in. This time we're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And one, stretch it back and back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, pull it in, come forward and tap. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, forward and tap. 
Inhale, reach back. Last one. Exhale, forward and tap. I'm going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Stretch way back and come into downward facing dog. Lower knees to the floor, coming into tabletop. And we're going to work on internal and rotation, internal and external rotation of our hips. So our knees going to move to the right and then over to the left and back and forth. So pick your left knee up, internally rotate so your knee points over to the right and externally rotate, pointing your knee to the left. And just go back and forth, feeling your hips move, feeling your glutes turn on, feeling that little gentle twist. One more. Let's try the other side. So pull your right knee in, internally rotate, pointing your knee to the left, and externally rotate. And just go back and forth. Noticing which muscles are more activated and how it really feels like your whole body's working here, even though we're focusing on the hips. Let's do one more. Good, come back into tabletop. And press back to downward facing dog. A few breaths here. Just doing whatever movements feel good to you right now. And come up onto your toes and walk your feet forward. Lift and spread all 10 toes. Keep the space as much as you can as you lower down. Lift up through your inner arches and press into the floor to help you rise up. <clears throat> Exhale, hands to your heart. Just pause for a moment. Feeling that sensation of being truly alive and energized and playful. Now we're just gonna practice like picking up one knee at a time and twisting either our lower body or upper body. So as you inhale, bring your left knee up and twist your right elbow across to the left knee, lower your left knee down, pick your right knee up, twist the left elbow to the right knee. And we're just gonna switch back and forth, but try picking your knee up as high as you can without crossing your knee across your body, but just tapping your elbow. Holding your balance, shifting your balance. <laughs> Couple more of these. All right, I just kind of shake things out a little bit. We're just gonna pivot on our hips. So pick the right hip up, lower it down, left hip up, right up, left up, back and forth. So there's a little side crunch going on here. And then a little forward and back. Try to keep the upper body, the shoulders relatively still, and then see if we can put it together. Just kind of rolling our hips around in a circle. And feeling that nice movement. And just kind of making it playful. There's not an exact way to do this. And let's reverse the circles. Nice, come back to center. And now we're going to do that same, we're going to do that same tapping elbow to the knee, but instead of reaching our elbow across, we're going to reach our leg across. So the elbow is going to stay forward and the leg is going to come across. So very similar to what we just did, but thinking of twisting the lower body instead of the upper body. And just a couple more back and forth. One more each side. All right. And shake it out. 
Now we're going to add a little bit of that rotation that we were doing in tabletop, but we're going to do it standing. So come up onto your big toe and then rotate the right knee in and rotate it out and rotate in and out and in and out and in and out. So your knee can be a little bit bent and you can kind of get a little bit of a rhythm going, feeling that hip joint working, but noticing like you wanted to come from your core. So I'm not just flop flopping the knee around, I'm leading with the hip and the knee is more or less following. Let's try that on the other side. So come up onto your, your toes, the toe mount, and then internally rotate, externally rotate, internally rotate, externally rotate, back and forth, and back and forth, and find the rhythm, <laughs> find your internal music, and go back and forth. One more time, back and forth. All right, so now, see if we can do that on one foot. So bring your right knee up and then internally rotate and externally rotate. Internal, external. Notice how my hip is lifting and lowering and I'm trying to stay balanced on one foot. All right, so it's okay if you fall. Like I've fallen a lot doing this, just practicing and kind of figuring it out. So let's do the other side. So lift the left knee up and internal and external. Point your toes back and forth and back. So there's a little hip lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and one more time. All right. And then we're just gonna shift our weight back and forth from foot to foot, letting our leg lift up. Yeah, it's nice to keep your hands on your hips or you can do whatever you want with your hands. We're just gonna shift from side to side then maybe start to lift up a little bit higher. <laughs> Just playing with that balance. All right, and let's come back to the front of our mats. On your inhale, sweep your arms up, lift your heels up. And on your exhale, heels down, forward fold, step back into plank. Knees can be lifted or lowered, lower all the way down. Inhale, curl up into your cobra. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward, cross and lunge. Rise up. Open up to your crescent lunge. And then open up warrior two. Reach back, reverse your warrior, and come forward. Circle your top arm, resting your form on your thigh, and then reach back, reverse your warrior, and come forward and circle. And then circle back, reverse your warrior, three more times, and forward in big circles. Reach back, and reach forward. And then reach back. Last one, reach forward. And reach back. And back to warrior two. Windmill your arms, step back, down dog. On your next inhale, sweep your left leg up. And on your exhale, step it all the way forward. Rise up, crescent lunge. Open up, warrior two. Reach back, reverse your warrior. And come forward, form on your thigh. Big circle. Four more of these. Reach back, reverse your warrior. And come forward again and circle your arm. And back again. Just finding a nice momentum, nice flow, feeling how stable your lower body can be while your upper body moves. And one more. And 
and come back through warrior two back to downward facing dog look towards your hands and walk your feet forward press down to rise up interlace your fingers reach up through the palm of your hands and stretch over to your right come back to center stretch over to your left come back to center release your right hand down your right thigh as you reach across to the left and then reach your left hand down your left thigh as you reach to the left and come back to center just take a moment in tadasana to reconnect to notice how you're feeling On your next inhale, sweep your arms up. And on your exhale, forward fold. Step back into plank. And back to downward facing dog. On your inhale, sweep your right leg up. And on your exhale, step it all the way forward. This time, pivot on your feet, coming into a wide legged forward fold. And just kind of move your hips from side to side. Maybe bend into one knee and then over to the other knee. Back and forth. Come back to center. Rise all the way up to stand. And this heel toe your feet in a little bit closer and you can determine the distance. And we're going to practice that internal, external, internal, external, internal, external rotation. Other side, in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in and out. Come back to center. And now we're going to practice just shifting to the right leg, picking the left leg up, shifting <laughs> to the left, picking the right leg up and just go back and forth. And see if you can build a little momentum so that your leg lifts up high enough, but you also stop yourself from going too far off to the side. So you notice if your leg just comes down really fast, you haven't really pushed over high enough. And if you feel like you're falling off to the side, maybe you pushed a little too hard. All right, so come on back down. Circle the hips. And now we're going to add in where we're going to pick our knee up. We're going to internally rotate, shift into our foot, externally rotate, internally rotate, externally rotate, come down. And we're just going to keep switching sides. So you might have to reposition yourself on the mat. But so right knee in, step into the left foot, pull the right knee up. Internally rotate the right hip. Externally rotate, step it down. Internal, external, internal, external. Step, internal, external, internal, external. Step. So you have to use your glutes, well, I feel like I do, so that you can find the balance. And we'll do that. We'll just play with this a couple more times. You can keep the same pace as I am. You can go a little slower. We're just, we're just going to practice like maybe four or five rounds. So internal, external lift, internal, external lower. Internal, external lift, <laughs> internal, external step. Internal, external lift, internal, external step. Internal, external. And just go back and forth on your own with a sense of playfulness. And every time you fall, like, what do you learn? Can you find that activation that's going to help you move and have fun? And notice, like, like say if you've injured your foot or your knee on one side, it might be a little more challenging to find the balance. But I think this is like a really fun way to train our body 
to strengthen, to move with a sense of freedom and coordination and playfulness. All right, so I'm feeling a little juicy in the glutes here. I don't know about you. So let's come into a squat. Lower down, come onto your backs, hug your knees into your chest, and just gentle circles. Bring your knees wide for happy baby. Again, you can just rock gently from side to side. Then bring the soles of your feet together, interlace your fingers on the outside edges of your feet, and let your knees open up. The more you stretch your knees away, you're gonna get a stretch in your shoulders. It's gonna kind of Lift your shoulders off the floor, and then you could come back and straighten the legs. And just go back and forth, or stay in one of these positions. It's up to you. And hold back your legs, and we're gonna do a little rocking motion back and forth. And you can build up as much momentum as you want. Seeing if you can, again, kind of control the momentum so you're, you're not just like falling too far forward or too far back. And then come up into boat pose. Your knees can be bent, your legs can be straight. Think of upward lifting, and you'll feel the downward pull of gravity into your hips. Bend your knees again, lower onto your backs, bring your feet as wide as your mat, and gently windshield wiper your legs from side to side. And come back to center. Shift your hips a little bit to the right. Stretch your left leg on the ground. Reach your right leg up in the air. Take your left hand to the outside of your right foot and bring your leg across. And if you want, you could bend your left knee, hold your left foot with your right hand. We'll just relax here in this. Oh, this is one of my favorite twists. I hope you really like it too. You can always modify by bringing your foot a little lower or holding higher up on your leg. So just be aware of your choices and test things out. Check it out. We'll stay here just for a few more breaths. And release your left foot if you're holding it. Pull your right hip back to the earth to float your leg up. Send to your hips. And give yourself a little foot massage here. You might have to bend your knee to do this. And twist your foot. Flex your toes and point your toes. And float your right leg down. Now we'll do the same thing with the left leg. So you might want to shift your hips to the left a little bit. Straighten the right leg on the floor, left leg up in the air. Take your right hand to the outside of your left foot and bring your leg across. Finding a nice easy stretch. Maybe you can hold on to that right foot with your left hand. Just let everything relax.
few more breaths here. Now release your right foot if you were holding it, bring your left hip back. Down, center your hips. Hug your knees into your chest. And stretch out for a savasana, at least for a minute. I'll stay here with you for a minute. If you have more time, more than a minute would be nice. But just be grateful and thankful to yourself that you made this time to come onto your mat and have fun and explore. You can stay here longer, or if you want to begin to come out of Savasana, just gently turn your head from side to side. And wiggle your fingers and toes. Bend your knees and gently roll to your side. Just pause here for a moment, absorbing the effects of your practice today. And using your hands, staying as relaxed as possible, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're feeling great and have a little smile on your face, maybe a little smile inside. Um, please, if you're, not utter, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. Really, most importantly, tell your friends, anyone you think that would enjoy this practice, and leave me a message. Let me know how you feel, leave a comment. I'm really interested in knowing how, you know, what you like, what you would like to see in the future, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.